Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, September the 4th, and today's a big day. Um, the past three videos we've been looking at GO 16, and today we're actually going to get some signals and look at the, the images that we receive. Uh, I managed to do it yesterday just to test it out, and the system works. So the first video we looked at planning. We looked at what GO 16 was as a weather satellite. We looked at the signal parameters. It's BPSK, bandwidth 1.2 megs, with the Turby and Reed Solomon coding. And we also looked at the spherical geometry where the satellite was located at 75.2 degrees west and uh, what the parameters would be for receiving here in Toronto. The azimuth would be 174 degrees, um, the elevation would be around 39 degrees and the tilt would be about 4 degrees. That's what we worked out in the planning. And then the next video we did an actual signal capture. I, I took the antenna by hand, I put it over the uh, balcony here and we managed to get a fairly good signal with 5 to 8 dB above uh, noise. And then in the third video, we looked at the signal decoding. We looked at the uh, software that would run on the Raspberry Pi, or the GOES tools. Uh, we did a simulation to see if uh, 5 to 8 dB signals to noise would be adequate, and it was. And uh, today, we're actually going to do the capture. Let's just quickly look at what I did. Um, I took uh, two wooden dowels. Uh, these are quite handy here. These are kind of metal tie wraps with a screw tightener. They work very well. So I took two wooden dowels, I extended them, and I attached to the bracket here. I bent the bracket a little bit. I used the fifth hole. The holes are spaced to 10 degrees. My elevation is about 39 degrees, but I find that this thing weighs down, so the fifth hole was the best match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this over the balcony. Um, remember that we have to there's a CN tower down there, so we want to be uh, three degrees to the right of that, and we want to be up by about 39 degrees, but I have to extend it away from the balcony to get away from the concrete of the building. So this is kind of my semi-fixed arrangement, and uh, I'm going to wedge it into the corner here, um, and I'm going to use a heavy bench, and then I'm going to manually turn the antenna. I'm going to lean it over the balcony so I have the right slant angle and I'm just going to manually uh, hold it and we're going to do some decoding. Uh, we have to, um, on the laptop here, remember the laptop is connected to the Raspberry Pi over the Ethernet cable. So I'm going to have to use PuTTY to get into my Raspberry Pi um, with SSH. So I'm going to start a session there with Go's Tools Receive. And then I'm going to log in again to start another session to decode the pictures. And afterwards, I'm going to use FileZilla to retrieve the files off the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go on to Camtasia now. I'm going to record on the laptop and I'll move the antenna up and we'll get them some signals. Okay, so we're going to connect again. This is it's the afternoon now, and the sun has gone to the other side of the building. So I'm going to connect again and see what we can receive. So I'm going to putty in. Start goes receive first. Okay, so that's our first session. So that's the command for goes receive. We'll get that going. And then we'll putty in again. For the, for the uh, decoder, so we'll start putty again. Okay, so that's our second session. It's a big command there. All right, so we'll start that. Let's say waiting for a packet. Okay, now I'm going to um, put the antenna up and we'll get going there.
Okay, so I'm just sitting down now with a laptop and I'm talking to the Raspberry Pi over the LAN. These are the two processes that were happening. I stopped them. That's the goes receive and that's the processing the packets. And you can see here that I was able to hold the antenna sufficiently well that I got the Viterbi error down to 344, around 350, 344, and there were very few packet drops there. And this is a screen on the um, processing side, so they're processing all the packets, and then they wrote some files here. When you see the writing, it means that there's actually a file written. So then I downloaded, I went into FileZilla, and I downloaded this directory, Go16, and I downloaded NWS for stands for National Weather Service. So uh, let's just look at what's in there. Some pretty fantastic stuff. So let's look at the National Weather Service first. So these are two maps in there. That's kind of cool. Caribbean surface analysis. That'd be good for you sailors out there. Let's look at the next thing here. 72-hour surface forecast. So there's all sorts of inter interesting information there. Let's go back up to... Um, the ghost directory. So let's go into, let's say, uh, FD, channel 15. I'm new to this software, so I'm not too sure what's where. Let's look at that image. Wow. There's a whole bunch of fantastic images here. What I'm going to do is I'll put all the images on the blog post um, so you can see what I received. It was just a short period of time, but you can imagine over spread of a day all the interesting stuff look at that holy smokes there's a nice big bad hurricane so i guess to conclude then um <clears throat> there's a fantastic amount of information on go 16. in terms of the antenna it's um it's quite big uh, it's fairly heavy it's certainly not suitable for a small boat it'd be suitable for maybe a perhaps a big boat but there may be other antennas that can be used perhaps a very um lightweight Yankee or something that like that that might be worthwhile looking at. Anyways, this is my first time receiving the ghost signal, and um, it's uh, certainly fantastic to be able to look at the planet.